Oh, hello there. If you need to change out your AC powered smoke detector, then this video is for you because I'm gonna show you the easy way to change out the entire AC powered smoke detector step by step, so follow along. Okay, the first step we're gonna to need to do is to twist the smoke detector. Now, most of them are just gonna twist and pull away from your wall. Then you'll notice you'll have an AC powered pigtail harness. You're just gonna pull that away and you've removed your smoke detector from the harness. Now you can go ahead and toss that into the trash. Now what you're left with is the old pigtail harness right here, and then you have your mount. So we'll go ahead and remove the mount from the wall. But uh-oh, I forgot an important step. We do need to remove power from the circuit because this is a 120 volt AC circuit, and it can bite if you touch the bare wire. So. Safety first, let's go ahead and remove power from the circuit. Okay, I've made it back from the circuit breaker panel and I have removed power to the circuit so it is safe to work on. Now, just in case, because unlike an outlet where you can plug something in or a light where you can just turn it off and visually see it's off, we kind of don't know for sure just by a dangling wire that power is removed. So I have brought out my client tools uh, NCV T1P, and I'll throw a link into the description on how to pick one of these up. But we're simply going to wave it around our wiring right here, and it is not flashing or beeping. So it's safe to say that we have removed power to our circuit and it's safe to work on. Okay, now the next step is to remove our mount. Now, unless you're replacing your smoke detector with the exact same one, most likely you're gonna have to use the new mount, but that's pretty easy. No worries, it's just two screws. You don't have to take them all the way out, just loosen them from the wall. And then if you've painted like I have, you may have to gently pry out your mount. And once you've pried out your mount from the wall, you can just twist it and pull it off like that. Go ahead and toss that into the trash as well. Okay, now that we've got our mount removed, we can pull out our wiring. Now here in the US, most AC powered smoke detectors are gonna be run on 14.3 Romex. And that simply means there's gonna be a ground wire, which we don't need to mess with in the back of the box. But if you're completely rewiring this, you will have a bare copper ground wire to connect. You have your black hot wire, you have your white neutral, and then you have your red interconnect. Now on your new pigtail harness, you're gonna have a white, black, and it's actually an orange colored wire. Now this is your red wire when hooking it up to your 14.3 Romex. And how this is wired is your white, of course, is your neutral, your black is your hot power, and then the orange or red on your Romex side is your interconnect wire. Now, what that does is it interconnects all your smoke detectors together. That way, if one smoke alarm goes off, they all go off. That's how they're connected. So it's important that you do hook up the orange wire. Now, as you can see with mine, it is fitted with a rubber end cap that we will have to cut off and strip the wire down to go ahead and connect it into the system. The important thing is that you do hook up all three wires unless your smoke detector system does not use an interconnect, which is very rare, especially here in 2025. But it should have a 14.3, which just means the black, white, red, and you'll hook up the black, white, and orange up to it. The next step is to remove the wire caps that are holding our old pigtail onto our wire harness. We'll go ahead and remove that. It's usually pretty easy to remove from your 14.3. It's usually just wire capped, or you may even have Wego lever clamps, but most likely you're gonna have some uh, wire nuts here that are holding on your pigtail to your 14.3 Romex. All right, like I said, the orange wire, at least for my set, comes with an, a cap on it that I've got to cut off and go ahead and strip this wire. So what I'm gonna do with my client strippers, and I'll throw these in the description as well, I'm going to strip the orange wire right behind the cap. So there we go, I've stripped it off, as you can see there. The white and black just have some insulation that you can pull right off. And now my new harness is ready to hook up to the 14.3 Romex. So what I'll go ahead and do is place the wire 
right next to the 14.3 right there. Put the cap on, just twist it on. You should be able to give it a little tug and it does not pull out. That's very important because you don't want your wires to come loose in the wall and actually cause a fire. Just make sure that it is firmly seated inside the wire cap. Okay, next I'll hook up the white neutral, same way. Just place it next to the twisted pair that is underneath the wire nut. You can twist that tight, give it a tug. It's stuck firmly in there. Lastly, we'll go ahead and wire up the hot wire, same way. Just twisting it in with the black hot pair of the Romex. And it's that simple, folks. Your new wiring pigtail is wired up correctly and it's ready to push the wires back in the wall. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now I like to gently accordion mine into the wall so it's nice and neat in there and not pulling on each other and there's no chance that the wire caps are gonna come off. So we'll go ahead and carefully accordion those back in. Make sure they're well pushed back into the box that they're not gonna interfere with the plug or the mounting flush of the new smoke detector. Okay, so now what we have is our new harness sticking out of the box. Our wires are pushed in, but we do need to put our new mounting plate on. Okay, I'm back with the new mounting plate. So what we'll go ahead and do, make sure your harness is coming out of the middle of your new mounting plate. We're gonna push it on. Reusing the two old screws, they should be mounted the same exact width. I've never encountered one that's not the same width. So the new mounting plate should plug and play where the old one came off. You're gonna twist it tight so it's locked in and then simply snug down these screws. They don't need to be super tight where you're bending the plastic in, just tight enough so it does not move when you twist on your new detector. Okay, now that we've got our pigtail wired, we've got our mounting plate fastened to the wall. The next step is to turn back on power because if not, you will not have a working smoke detection system. Now, speaking of that, when you do turn off power to the circuit to work on it, your smoke detectors may chirp along the circuit. That's normal because you have removed AC power to the detector. And at that point, it's actually just running on the backup nine volt battery that is inside of the detector. Okay, now that I've got power hooked back up, I'll go ahead and plug it in. And you wanna make sure that you do have the pins lined up. And then with some pretty good effort, you're gonna to need to push the harness in pretty firmly. That way it locks in and it does not come out. So now that we've got it connected, you should see a green light in your window right there. Depending on your smoke detector, not all of them may have that green light but it does give you a good indicator that you do have AC power. We'll go ahead and push it and twist it on and that locks it in. It's firmly seated in the mount. It's not going anywhere. I like to line up my button on the bottom. Now these smoke detectors are rated for 10 years, so do not leave them installed for more than 10 years in your house. That is a safety concern. I know it's tempting to go ahead and leave them up for much longer because they probably still work, but do yourself a favor and go ahead and replace them if it's been 10 years. The manufacturer date is always on the back of it. So if you remove it, pull it off the wall, you can read right there, manufactured on, and it should have a date. And you can also write your install date. It is recommended that you test these at least monthly. And to do that, you're just gonna hold the button and make sure that it is working. Okay. And they work. I think I just woke up my whole family. So whoops, but it does work. That's how you do your monthly test. And with that, that is how you completely replace your AC powered smoke detector. It's super easy. Now, if you're just changing a battery, that's even easier. It has a little battery tray right there. You can pull out your nine volt battery, change that out. Uh, they will chirp once the battery gets low. That's how you know. Now you should be able to confidently change your entire smoke detector out on your own without having to hire anybody. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, watch this one right here. I know you're going to love it. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel right there. It truly does help us out. I appreciate it. Tell your friends about us. Throw a comment in. Let me know how I did and any kind of videos that you would like to see next.